Hello, everybody, and welcome to another chapter in the long legacy of the Big Ten Conference. It's a championship game in the new expanded Big Ten, and there are high stakes here, not just a conference championship, but potentially positioning themselves for one at the national championship with an automatic bid. We're going to be treated to not just a top 10 matchup, but a battle for a conference championship and an automatic bid to the college football playoff with the first round bye that goes with it. So a lot at stake here. As we'll see the number eight team in the country, the Oregon Ducks, taking on the second ranked team, the Michigan Wolverines. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Kickoff team out there getting ready, and this is it, the battle for the conference championship trophy. He's got it inside the 15. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. The Ducks will get the first crack on offense today. We'll see if this quarterback can get off to a great start, Kirk. So much for this offense and his whole team, really, orbits around him. Yes, sir. The de facto Mr. Center of the Universe. It's his world when he's out there, and it's up to him to create and orchestrate the details on the field. His team, his way. Can't wait to see what he does today. That's a solid game. Moves the ball to 29. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Sopper with a strong tackle there. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of the defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Ducks by first and ten here. Boy, an opportunity missed here by this defense. They get him the third down, they load up the line of scrimmage, but they could not deny this back and coming up with that conversion. Offense getting set. It's second down. Caught in the backfield. It's Dickey. But he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. <laughs> Cannot escape, and down he goes. This is exactly how you can slow down the momentum and the rhythm of an offense. you got to get some tackles for a loss and some sacks. This time, they come up with a sack by getting after that quarterback. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain in the return. So Michigan's offense gets their first crack now. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players to just a few guys, Kirk, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. Here's the second down play. To throw, it's Orgy. Receiver makes the grab. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. An inside deal now from the shotgun. Breaks a tackle, and he's got room. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Game set for the second quarter here. Both offenses searching for a spark. They didn't do much in the first quarter at all. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. He'll ride the back again here. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's the offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. It's a quick grab. 
Touchdown, Wolverines. Strong game by this quarterback. That kind of play is almost impossible to defend when a quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And it's caught from inside the 20. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. And the powerful Ducks offense retakes the field. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. Working for the tight end, and it's caught. Good enough for a fresh set of downs. They spot the ball at the 40. Timeout is called a Ducks strategy late in this close game of halftime approaching. Looking to pass, it's Warner. Looks to the left for a quick throw, and it's incomplete. He just missed his target, overthrowing it. Now it's second down. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. And the junior able to get home with the sack. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. Defense stops him short of the mark, so now it's fourth down. The Ducks will bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. He's got great speed. Now they finally get him, but he found a nice lane in that return. This drive starts in good position. So here comes the first play of the drive. Can they do something in the final 30 seconds of the half? Here comes a first down pass attempt. Pass incomplete, very nearly intercepted that time. That play makes it second and ten. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. He bought some time, now lets it go. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left, perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. And that one is incomplete with just nine seconds on the clock. The Wolverines will line up to punt it away. Oh, it looked like the quarterback had everything that he needed there. Had great protection. The receiver ran a nice route. Just not able to convert there on that third down. Let's see what their decision is on fourth down coming up. One more play before they head to the locker room. On first and ten, look at a throw. And he lofts it toward the sideline. And it falls incomplete. One final shot as the quarter expires. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. 